world's largest cruise ship has set sail from Miami, Florida on its maiden voyage and it concerns about the vessel's methane emissions. The 360 meters long icon of the seas has 20 decks and can house a maximum of 7,600 passengers. It is owned by a Royal Caribbean group. The vessel is going on a seven-day island hopping voyage in the tropics. But environmentalists warn that the liquefied natural gas-powered ship will leak harmful methane into the air. It's a step in a wrong direction. Brian Comer. Sri Lanka Insurance. Like a father, like a mother. Director of the Marine Program at the International Council on the Clean Transportation was quoted as saying by Reuters news agency. We would estimate that using LNG as a marine fuel emits over 120% more life cycle greenhouse gas emissions than marine gas oil, he said. Earlier this week, the ICCT released a report arguing that methane emissions from LNG fuel ships were higher than current regulations assumed. LNG burns more cleanly than traditional marine fuels such as fuel oil but there is a risk of leakage. A powerful greenhouse gas methane in the atmosphere traps 80 times more than heat than carbon dioxide over 20 years. Cutting these emissions is seen as a crucial to slowing down global warming. A Royal Caribbean spokesperson is quoted by media outlets as saying that Icon of the Seas is 24% more energy efficient than required by the International Maritime Organization for Modern Ships. The company plans to introduce a net zero ship by 2035. On Thursday, Argentina's World Cup winning captain Lionel Messi, who currently plays for Inter Miami, took part in the ship's naming ceremony. He was seen placing a football on a specially built stand to trigger the traditional good luck breaking of a champagne bottle against the vessel's bow. Icon of the Seas cost $2 billion to build. It now boasts seven swimming pools, six water slides and more than 40 restaurants, bars and lounges.